see the ball. Orientation is based on something called leave no trace. So we're going to ask that you leave no trace of your visit here today. Uh, four of you out there are already experts on leave no trace. You may not know it yet, but you're going to be receiving a car. Number on the other side, there's a short phrase. We're just going to go through these one through four when I call off your number. You can read that phrase out loud for everyone and then tell us a few things you're going to do. Uh, as part of your trip today to follow what it says on the card. So we'll start at the beginning, card number one. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, very good. So card number one is respect wildlife. The first thing you said, ma'am, was right on. This is a national park. It is illegal to feed the wildlife here. Please, if they come up to you and they look cute and cuddly, refrain from feeding them. It's not only illegal, but it's actually pretty detrimental to those animals. I'd like you to remember one phrase. A fed animal is a dead animal. A lot of the times if you're feeding animals, they become nuisance animals. They end up getting put down. So you can pretty much think about it like you are signing the death certificate of that creature by feeding it so please do not do that uh, another thing about our wildlife the wildlife here is exactly that it is wild a moose may look big and friendly like a dairy cow I assure you it is not uh, watch your distance as you're interacting with these animals a couple things you want to keep in mind if the animal's behavior changes because of your presence, you are too close to that animal, you should get farther away for the safety of that animal and for the safety of yourself. Uh, one thing you can watch for specifically when you're interacting with the moose would be their ears. As long as the ears are up, they're doing just fine. But if at any point you see those ears go back flat, this is a very, very, very bad sign. You're going to want to get behind a rock, a tree, or the slowest moving member of your party <laughs> and wait for that moose to move away from you. Chances are it's just going to go back to feeding or doing whatever it was doing. Also, it's important to remember no one on Isle Royal has ever been injured by a moose. However, if you become statistic number one, rest assured you will be talked about in this orientation for years to come. So just, just be smart about it. Give the wildlife plenty of distance. Card number two. Stay on the trail. Stay on the trail. <laughs> Excellent. That one uh, is pretty self-explanatory. There's a couple reasons we ask that you stay on the trails. One reason is that way we can keep all the impact from all the visitors in kind of a confined spot. That way we don't get little trails going off here and there. Uh, but another reason you want to stay on the trail is for safety. Say you go hiking off trail and you fall down and you're injured. You're unable to get out of there. Well, no one's going to know where you are. If you get injured on a trail, it's going to be a lot easier for us to find you. Uh, another thing to keep in mind if you're going out for a hike, like I said, this is a wilderness park. Uh, the trails are going to be about this wide. There are rocks, roots, exposed things to trip and slip on. Just use a little caution when you're out there walking around. Card number three. Uh, dispose of waste properly. So any water bottles or candy wrappers or anything that you bring in, make sure you bring out or dispose of in a trash bin. Don't leave anything laying around. Excellent. Uh, one special thing I'm going to ask of all of you today, since you are leaving on a boat, if you have things like empty water bottles, granola bar wrappers, maybe a zip bag that had peanut butter and jelly sandwich in it, anything like that, if you could take it back to Minnesota and throw it away when you get back to the mainland, we would really appreciate that. Any trash you leave with us on the island, we just have to put on a different boat and ship off the island anyways. So you can take it with you today. 
uh, you'd help us out quite a bit. Card number four. Leave what you find. In other words, don't pick up rocks, don't pick flowers, don't uh, pick up driftwood or anything like that. And I believe the saying is, take only pictures, leave only memories. Excellent, excellent. So, this is a national park. Everything here is federally protected. This includes, but certainly is not limited to, some of the things that she was talking about. Uh, things like picking wildflowers, rocks, sticks, uh, those moose antlers over there. If you try to put one of those under your sweatshirt, we're probably going to catch you. Uh, there are two delicious exceptions to this. Is anyone going to be fishing today? All right, no one's fishing. We can skip that one. The other thing would be wild berries. Wild berries are in season out here. You are welcome to pick and eat them. However, I will caution you, not all of the berries are good for eating. You certainly don't want to go around eating all the berries that you find, or you will have a very interesting ride back to Grand Portage on the Sea Hunter later today. Uh, if you are curious about which berries are good for eating, and which berries are best to avoid, when you walk in the visitor center or ranger station, right on the left hand side, as soon as you go in the door, there's a big bulletin board display. It's gonna show you which berries are good.
Jump! It's said that a lot tougher to come back than it looks. Got a pointer into the wind. Well, yeah, he had to reposition. Otherwise, he'd have hit the dot.